Hi, my name is Ben Keyline. I'm the program director for Project Spark Studio. It's a student run animation studio that collaborates with uh, schools all over the globe. Our mission is to create the next generation of visual storytellers. And we do this through character, creativity, and connection. I'm really excited today to introduce our animation pipeline. And we've actually been using this amazing new uh, computer vision technology that detects and reconstructs 3D human motion. It's named Radical. You actually rent it online. And what's really cool in real time, you actually upload camera footage of the kids acting out their parts. And it comes back with a three-dimensional movement file that you can actually put on your character. It's really exciting, especially for the middle school and high school students at the rate and speed they like to create their animations. And what's really fun is then on top of that, we're actually working in two other pieces of software named Blender. It's an open source piece of software, which means it's free. And that's the one we actually animate in and render out in. And then another one called Daz that's free as well. It's a marketplace where you actually can get the characters. Now, the characters themselves aren't free. Uh, Daz hosts basically kind of a, a marketplace where they all come and then vendors actually sell their different characters. And what's really exciting is you can actually, for not too much cost, you can find all kinds of different characters that you want to animate and have fun with. So we're excited to show you guys this animation process. I'm actually going to have some of my students explain how they use Radical in the classroom, uh, how we've pioneered this technique, uh, how it works and doesn't work, and then actually show you guys all the way step by step through our process to a rendered sequence so that you guys can actually see how we uh, have used Radical and it's kind of opened up a whole new world for us as far as how to get motion from those kids onto their characters. We also do some animation on top as well, and we're excited to show you guys how we do that in Blender. My brother is a, an engineer and is a part of the Blender community, and he has actually done some Python coding, a, a real efficient way to put these motions on a character, uh, and we're excited to show you guys that as well. So come along with me, showing you guys our process and how amazing Radical has been in the classroom to really get kids uh, excited about animation and excited in a kinematic way, not just sitting at a computer, but actually in a movement way to actually move around and make their characters come to life. Uh, oftentimes with cost and also suits involved, and you guys have seen it in different movies where they have the dots all over their faces. It's a really challenging way and expensive way up until now. Radical's really blown open an opportunity here for schools to have this kind of technology in their classroom. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to use it, but the main thing is there's kind of some steps along the way that we've pioneered that help you take it from that out of the box experience all the way to where you're actually using it in a confident and exciting way. I'll also say that the Blender community has been amazing as far as their support uh, open source is kind of a, a new world out there, but it's actually respected by Pixar. It's respected by some pretty serious, you know, effects houses and different things. So the kids are actually learning a piece of software that could go with them on into their careers or whatever they end up doing. Uh, it's amazing how much we've seen with all kinds of kids using this, what they've been doing with it, what they end up experimenting it with. Uh, and what's great is Radical's really partnered and is excited to partner with schools to give those kids real opportunity to play with it, use it, experiment with it. And that's really what makes it come to life when they can find out what it can and can't do. It's a, it's, it's, it's a fun time for Radical in the classroom. So come along with us as our studio, our students, and I myself included, as we actually go through the process of going from a motion, a movement capture file all the way to a rendered character. All right, buckle up, here we go.